What's up, family? I got a message for you. First of all, it's none other than your boy Jay Giddens, the father, as usual. Remember to be positive, be optimistic, and keep positive people in your circle. Here's my message. Stop letting people treat you like that, man. Stop making excuses for people treating you like that, man. If you are a woman in a relationship, a man in a relationship, or a child, or a parent to your child, whoever you are, stop letting people treat you like that, right? I don't know who need to hear that, but you heard it, okay? You may make excuses for the way people treat you. There's somebody who you know is talking to you disrespectfully, acting disrespectfully towards you, not considering your emotions or your opinions and things, right? And you're just letting them do it and making excuses for them. Every time somebody try to explain to you that this person is doing this to you, that they shouldn't be doing it to you, friends, family members and such that, that see you, tell you this, and you just make excuses for the person, right? There's a lot of women who are in abusive relationships with guys, beating all the hell out, hell out of them, and they make excuses for these guys. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> a lot of this comes from childhood trauma. <clears throat> a lot of parents will teach their children to be abused. <clears throat> this is unfortunately something that my two eldest daughters were suffering from as well. You know what I mean? You'll have a parent who, who mistreats you and then tells you that they don't. So what it does is it starts to fuck up your head, you know? You'll have people who do this in relationships as well. There's guys out there that'll cheat on their girl, mistreat their girl, you know, <clears throat> book other girls, get other girls phone numbers and shit. And then when she say something about it, just kind of like laugh it off and act like it didn't happen. Change the subject. And the girl will stay with him because she's been conditioned to think that like this is just how life is. You know what I'm saying? Like there's so many... There's so many women that are in relationships with piece of shit ass men, bro. And they literally just excuse these niggas. Like they just make excuses for them. Like, oh, well, you know, you know what I think it is, is a lot of these women grew up with piece of shit fathers. So they have a piece of shit level that's down here. Or they grew up with mothers that allowed piece of shit niggas around them. So they accept this as, as well from men. But like... <laughs> So many times out here, a woman describing her problem with her man, with her boyfriend, and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, why the fuck would you be with somebody that would do that? Like, even, look, they'll be like, yeah, my boyfriend, I can't believe him, girl. He gonna come in the house last night at 2.30 a.m. I ask him where he at. He gonna say, oh, don't worry about it, blah, blah, blah. I'm getting sick of him, girl, blah, blah, blah. Like, why the fuck are you still in a relationship with somebody who did that to you? Like, why, why the hell would you stay in a relationship with somebody who did that to you? And then they make all these excuses. Well, you know, we got, you know, we just, you know, we, we live together. So, you know, so? Fuck, leave. The fuck, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, well, I ain't gonna have nowhere to stay. Exactly. The fuck? Exactly. You're not. The fuck? That's what you gotta do. The fuck, like, people be <laughs> making, yo, that some things for people, this is one thing I want to say as well for anybody who, who watched this back. Like, you gotta work on building up your... Your, your tolerance, building up your ability to to tolerate things and your ability to be strong, you know, um, because a lot of times people deal with certain um, problems and certain realities because they refuse to deal with other ones, right? You know what I'm saying? You know how like somebody might be like, oh, my stomach hurt, man. And they'd be like, oh, here goes some medicine for your stomach hurt. But the medicine say that you, your head gonna hurt. So they like, oh, no, I'm not taking that, man, because then my head gonna hurt. <laughs> you know, that's how it is in life sometimes. Like, you gotta trade in one thing for another thing. So you gotta decide what's more important to you. So you might have a guy that's beating on you. Every day you come home, he talking to you like you ain't shit. Matter of fact, I wanna do a whole nother live, y'all. Hold on, hold on.